If you're facing the frustrating issue of your TV displays no picture or black screen and unresponsive to user input, you're not alone. There could be several reasons behind this problem. But let's start with the basics. Step 1. Black Screen of Death Let's start off with the most frustrating and serious situation. The black screen of death is a term used to describe a situation where a TV displays a black screen and is unresponsive to user input. To solve the problem, please follow the steps. Firstly, unplug the TV from the wall outlet. Then press and hold the power button on your TV. Remember to hold the button for at least a minute. Then plug the TV back in and turn the TV back on. Step 2. Bad Connections The HDMI inputs can have problems that will interrupt the video signal while still allowing audio to function. There are two main points of failure, the input sockets and the cables. First, unplug and re-plug each HDMI cable at both ends, the TV end, and the other connected device. Do this for every device that is connected to your TV. Step 3. Software Update and Factory Reset Performing a manual update is another step you can take to eliminate a parsable cause. If you tried the update and it had no effect or wouldn't go, the last step is a factory reset. Step 4. Bad Backlights This quick test will help you determine if the backlights on your TV have failed. Turn on the TV. Shine a bright flashlight at a slight angle to the screen. If you do see an image, this is a sign that the backlights have failed. The generation of the image means everything else is working properly. The TV will likely not give blink codes or any other trouble sign. You can replace backlights with aftermarket parts that are available. If you don't see an image, you need to determine if your power supply is bad. Step 5. Cable Connection even before you test the various boards, just disconnecting each cable and reconnecting it can sometimes fix the problem. Especially important in this step are the ribbon cables that run between a small board called the T-Con board and the main board. You might even want to clean the contacts on the ribbon cables with a pencil eraser before reinserting them. Step 6. Power Supply and Backlights you can check the power supply and the backlights in one swipe. Make sure the TV is unplugged. Open the back. You may need to remove the base to access all the screws that hold the back on. Disconnect the black cable between the main board and the power supply board. Plug the TV back in. If no backlights come on, you will need to replace the power supply board or the backlights. For now, go to the next step. If the backlights do come on, you know they are good, and you know the power supply board is good, especially if you had an image in the backlight test. Go to the next step. Step 7. Main Board Now we check the main board to see if it is the culprit. If a problem shows up on half the screen or only a portion, it is likely the main board rather than the T-Con board. Make sure the TV is unplugged. Plug in the cable running between the power board and the main board, which was disconnected in the previous procedure. Then plug in the TV. Measure the voltage at the BL on terminal at the cable going to the power supply board from the main board. It should be zero or low. If the backlights came on in the previous step, this is just a double check. If it is very high, that points to a main board problem. If this checks out, move to the next step. Step 8 Tesla Con Board. This check for the decon board also touches on the condition of the main board. Note that problems that show up on half of the screen, like bars or such, point to a failed main board, as the T-Con board errors show up on the whole screen. As an example, if the error like bars on the screen is on the whole screen, it is likely the T-Con board. Step 9. LCD Panel It is possible that your LCD panel has failed, 
especially if the bad backlights test showed no image. A common sign of panel failure is single horizontal or vertical lines in the image on the screen. Many panel failures can be traced to physical abuse. Further, the construction of the panels with chips embedded in flex plastic or attached to glass makes them vulnerable to unrepairable failures in those devices that surround the panel periphery. In summary, if your TV has no picture or a black screen issue, follow these steps to troubleshoot and potentially fix the problem. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to share them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more helpful tips. Your support means the world to us. For trying to enter the service menu, you have to ensure the Hisense TV original remote. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Then tap right and select advanced audio settings. Next, scroll 